One of the most frequently asked questions about lifting kettlebells is how to prevent the kettlebell from banging your forearm. There's a little bit of adaptation time. Well, when you're learning the technique, you're probably going to bruise your forearm up a bit. It's kind of like if you're learning Muay Thai and you got to kind of condition your shins by kicking the bag, similar idea. But over time, as your technique gets mastered, you shouldn't be feeling a lot of pain or getting a lot of bruising on your wrist. Now, generally where this is going to happen the most is the kettlebell clean. So when you're transitioning into that rack position is when you're going to get that banging on the forearm. A few things you want to keep in mind about this. First and foremost, you want to make sure that you have proper timing of the legs and arms. So that means you need to let your, your legs push the kettlebell and the arm simply passively comes into place. If you're pulling the kettlebell and if you're really hanging on to that kettlebell handle, that's when you're going to see that kettlebell kind of fly all the way around your wrist and hit your forearm. So if you're really pulling and gripping, it's going to come around like this. Now, if you're properly using your legs and you're opening your hand, getting the right timing on your hand insertion, you should have the kettlebell slide smoothly into place. So legs and insert, you should have a nice smooth insertion where your hand is reaching that rack position just as the bell is. So it's just sliding in place simultaneously instead of the bell coming around and slamming down. So legs, open the hand and slide through. The next thing to keep in mind is make sure that the arc the kettlebell is making around your body is fairly small. The farther the kettlebell is away from you, the less you're going to be able to control the kettlebell. The more you're going to feel it in your back, the more you're going to get that kettlebell slamming onto your wrist because that arc is too big. So both on the way down and on the way up, keep that arc in a little bit tighter. Keep it in that triangle that the, your crotch and your knees make here so that that kettlebell is not flopping and getting really far away from so you. If the bell is far, it ends up slamming you and pulling on your back. If the bell is close, we can control it better and find the right timing so that the kettlebell isn't slamming your forearm.